Hey guys, welcome back. Evil White Part 2 is here. Let's continue. Thinking no one is home, Evil White stepped inside. But she was wrong. There was a nanny. But before she can run, Evil White jumped on her. Then she began to clean the cottage, removing all the blood stains. She went upstairs to lay across the beds and fell asleep, waiting. Later, the dwarves came home. They found a girl. Evil White hypnotized the dwarves so she can eat them one by one. At the castle, Queen decided to take care of Evil White once and for all. She went to the basement to make a magic potion, which two hours later and killed the witch. She became an ugly old woman after drinking the potion and casted a spell on an apple. Evil White told the dwarves to wash themselves so she won't eat them dirty. After setting the dwarves off to work, Evil White waited so she can devour them for dinner. After they left, Evil White began making poisonous pies when an old lady came at the window offering an apple. Evil White played dumb and took the apple. Evil White took a bite and fell on the floor. Queen thought she died, but <laughs> now, it's my turn, Evil White laughed, <laughs> screamed Queen, and ran off. Hypnotized animals went to the dwarves to get help. The dwarves chased the Queen all the way up a cliff. the top of the cliff, trapped by the dwarves. She was about to tell the truth when one of the dwarves threw his pitch axe, <coughs> making her fall. <coughs> dwarves came home and saw evil white who was pretending to be dead. She waited for them to sleep, but they never did. Instead, they built her a golden casket. Meanwhile, hypnotized prince ended up at the forest and found the girl he was looking for. She was about to sit up when Prince came and lifted the casket. Suddenly, another plan hit Evil White. Goodbye, I promise to come visit you soon, she said. She kept her promise. She did go back to eat the dwarves and ruled the kingdom as the evil queen. Thanks for watching. Who you want to see next? Comment down below.